Hey YouTube, how's it going? MacMan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Apple's newest software update, OSX Lion. OSX Lion was released on July 20th in the Mac App Store. It is only available in the Mac App Store and comes in a price of $29.99. It includes more than 250 features. I'm only be going to cover some of them, but anyways guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. My first and most favorite feature that we are going to be covering is Launchpad. Launchpad can be accessed by putting all fingers on the trackpad and swiping inwards. This will launch Launchpad. Launchpad has taken a similar look of iOS devices. This can be used to access all of your applications and sort them in a very nice and organized way. It is equipped with pages where you can move around your applications. I have put my most used applications on one page and other applications on the others. We can also make folders by dragging an application onto an application, just like an iOS device. We can then rename it by double clicking on the name and renaming it. If we don't want this folder, we can easily just drag this application out of the folder. If we'd like to delete something, we can either hold down an application or hold down the option key. Here we can delete applications. The only downside to this is you cannot delete all applications. For some odd reason, you can only delete some of them. You can change pages by swiping two fingers on your trackpad or by clicking and dragging them over. I find using the trackpad is a lot more fluid way. It is simple as clicking on an application to open it. The next feature we are going to be looking at is Mission Control. Now sometimes you might be scrambled in applications and it is hard to see the one that you want to go to. This is where Mission Control comes in. If I were to swipe four fingers upward on the trackpad, it will launch Mission Control. Here we can find which application we are looking for and select it to go to it. But maybe we want a whole new desktop for each application. This is easy in Mission Control. We can simply drag our cursor to the top right corner and hit the small plus sign. This is going to add what's called a desktop. Then if we'd like to have a desktop for an application, we can simply drag the application onto the desktop. As you can see, it is decluttering our desktop workspace. And as you can see, I have Twitter running in desktop one, Quick note in Desktop 2 and System Preferences in Desktop 3. That way, if I go back to my original desktop, we don't have as many applications on the same screen. We can easily drag these back just by selecting it, going into Mission Control again, and dragging them back. We can also delete a desktop by holding the Option key and hitting the X button. It is simple as that. We can also access our dashboard just by clicking on it up here. Now a nice thing about this is by using four finger swipe to the right or left, we can go to our different desktops rather than opening Mission Control. The next feature I'm going to be showing you guys is Apple's new redesign to OS X Lime. I'm going to open up my Finder and show you guys some of the small changes that they have done. On the top left, you'll notice that all of the traffic lights have gotten slightly smaller. Below that, the buttons have gotten less round and are only round on the corners. This makes a much more elegant look. If you look off to the right hand side, you'll notice that the scroll bar reappears and disappears as I move my fingers on and off the trackpad. These are just some of the small changes that they have done to OS X Line, but there is a lot more for you to discover. The last feature I'm going to be covering is the new full screen apps function. Apple has done this with the majority of their apps and hopefully developers of other applications will catch on as well. I'm going to launch iTunes right here and as you can see on the top right hand corner there are two arrows. By clicking this you enable full screen mode. As you can see it takes over your dock and your menu bar and it just leaves you with the application. I find that they did a very good job with this and it's a nice way to focus on the application that you are running on. That's pretty much it for the video. Obviously, OS X Line includes a lot more features from what I showed you. I thought I'd give you a glimpse of just some of the major features. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video.